Ladies and gentlemen, the Francis Scott T. High School Class of 2022.
the class of 2022 welcomes you. Please stand for the presentation of the colors by the Winters Mill High School JROTC and the playing of our national anthem by our own FSK Wind Ensemble. This will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by class president, Ms. Natalie Riley, and a moment of silence in honor of all who cannot be with us today. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Natalie. Please remain standing. While the, while the color guard recesses. Please be seated. Once again, welcome to the 63rd annual graduation ceremony for Francis Scott Key High School. I would like to thank the senior class advisors, Mrs. Sarah Jarbeau and Mr. William Duffy and the entire graduation committee for their efforts in organizing this ceremony and all graduation week activities. We are fortunate to have several special guests honoring us with their presence this morning. On behalf of the Francis Scott Key High School community, I thank them for their continued support of the students of Carroll County. Please hold your applause until all guests have been introduced. Maryland State Delegate, Mr. Haven Shoemaker, 
Carroll County Board Member Dr. Patricia Dorsey, Francis Scott Key Assistant Principal Mr. Josh Rudder, Superintendent of Schools Dr. Stephen Lockhart, Francis Scott Key Senior Class Assistant Principal Ms. Shannon Zepp, Carroll County Public School Board Member Mr. Kenneth Kyler, Academic Facilitator Ms. Lynn Kaur. <laughs> Seated in our VIP section is Ms. Betsy Donovan, Principal, Carroll County Career and Technical Center, Mr. Stephen Wance, Carroll County Commissioner, Mr. Bradley Wance, Tawny Town Mayor, Ms. Diane Foster and Mr. Joe Vigliotti, Tawny Town Council Members, Ms. Laura Conaway and Ms. Sherry Thompson, Union Bridge Council Members, Mr. Neil Roop, New Windsor Mayor, U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant Shaquille Cogshell, U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Albert Labrojo, U.S. Marine Corps Staff Sergeant Matthew Biermeen, Francis Scott Key Athletic Booster President, Mr. Tom Vickery, Francis Scott Key Band Booster President, Mr. Tim Benner. My apologies, Mr. Tom Vickery is our Athletic Booster. We thank them all for their hard work and support of public education. Please give them all another round of applause. In addition to our honored guests joining us on the stage, we have Ms. Natalie Riley, Class of 2022 President and today's speaker. Also sitting with the graduates are faculty members from Francis Scott Key High School who are here to share this special occasion and have participated in our processional. These faculty members have been instrumental in the success of our graduates. In addition to those who processed, there are many who are actively working behind the scenes to make this ceremony special. Would any Francis Scott Key High School faculty member or staff member please stand to be recognized? I thank you for taking the time to be here with us today to honor and celebrate our graduates. At this time, I would like to celebrate our departing Eagles. The following staff members have given their time and service to the students of Francis Scott Key, and we wish them luck as they depart to other endeavors. Please give each of them a round of applause. Departing this year are Kara Icard, Sarah Jarbeau, Bree Link, and Lauren McCarran. We also have staff members that have given many years of service to Carroll County Public Schools and Francis Scott Key that will be entering the world of retirement. Pupil personnel worker, Ms. Vani Fiore. Ms. Fiore has made an impact on our students that will last a lifetime, and we wish her a relaxing and successful retirement. We will move into the class accomplishments, and I would like to introduce Ms. Shannon Zepp, Assistant Principal for the senior class. I am so proud of all that you have accomplished, not only over the past year, but in your tenure as an FSK Eagle. Graduates, when you hear your name, please stand briefly to be recognized. I kindly ask the audience to hold your applause until the end. Over the last four years, the members of the class of 2022 
have been major contributors to making FSK a great place to learn and be a student. 63 seniors maintained honor roll status each of the 15 quarters of their high school career. 47 seniors challenged themselves academically by taking five or more advanced placement, dual enrollment, and or transcriptic classes during their high school career, and are recognized as recipients of the principal's challenge. They are wearing a medal in honor of this achievement. Would these students stand to be recognized? Please remain standing if you are also a recipient of the Eagle Scholar Award. This is being awarded to 29 seniors who have gone above and beyond by taking seven or more advanced placement, dual enro enrollment, or transcripted classes during their high school career. Congratulations. The College Board recognizes students with excellent AP scores through the end of their junior year. Students with scores of three or higher on three or more AP exams are considered to be AP scholars. They are Zachary Kinlock, AJ Kitzinger, Evan Longo, Nathan McConerty, Natalie Riley, Cole Tate, and Robert Wolf III. Students who have scored an average of at least 3.25 on all exams taken and three or higher on four or more exams have received the recognition of being AP scholars with honors. They are Grace Bradley, Caitlin Krieger, and Robert Wolf III. AP scholars with a distinction are students who score an average of 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more AP exams. This year, Zach Kinlock is our AP scholar. Congratulations. <laughs> 28 graduates are members of the National Honor Society. They are wearing a white stole earned through active membership in the FSK chapter. They were led in part by senior members of the executive board, A.J. Kitzinger and Caden Burdett, who are wearing gold cords to acknowledge their leadership and commitment to NHS and our community. The Maryland Seal of Bioliteracy is given to, two, to students who have successfully shown profici proficiency in two or more languages with a mastery in reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Cole Tate and Zach Kinlock have been awarded this recognition and A.J. Kitzinger, Tiana Parker Bay, and Eve Ortiz are all candidates for the SEAL. 89 seniors focus their education at the Career and Technology Center in a wide variety of areas, from engineering and computer programming to auto service. Students wearing the Award of Excellence Medal from the CCCTC all received A's in their programs, had 96% attendance, and demonstrated high competence in their field of study. This year, we had three students, Evan Blizzard, Kyle Kramlich and Zach Patterson complete the Emergency Services Technology Completer. We don't always have students participate in this program, and they did so with professionalism and great responsibility. This past year, 44 seniors participated in honors level internship experiences, and they are wearing Career Connections medals. Members of this class have given back to their community repeatedly. The class of 2022 has earned over 25,800 service learning hours during their educational careers from sixth to 12th grade. We had three seniors earn over 800 hours each. Amanda Bruner earned 889, Evan Blizzard earned 1,190, and AJ Kinslicker earned an amazing 2,708 hours. In the last year, we returned to normal athletics amid new protocols and health precautions. Our student athletes rose to the challenge. Just last week, we celebrated 15 graduating athletes that have made commitments to continue their athletic careers in college. This fall, our field hockey team won a regional championship and competed in the state semifinals, while our football team finished the season seven and four and hosted two regional playoff games. Both our girls soccer teams and volleyball teams finished the season as regional finalists. Georgia Kaufman and Josie Dell led our fall cheer team to a second place at the county championship earning them an appearance in the 1A West Region competition and then an appearance at the state championship. They finished seventh in the state and Georgia was also awarded the State Cheers Association scholarship. The boys soccer team finished as regional semifinalists with many of the athletes being part of the team that led the 2019 team to being state finalists. This winter, our indoor track team won the state championships in the girls high jump and the boys four by 200 relay. Our boys basketball team won a regional title for the first time in 45 years due in large part to many senior leaders, including Ryan Rill, 
who has become FSK's second all-time leading scorer with 1,240 points. This spring yielded improvements in nearly every area and was highlighted by a state championship in the girls' high jump and several other top four finishes. Ashlyn Watkins and Keith LaPierre were among student leaders on the girls' and boys' lacrosse teams, respectively, whose leadership has led them to earn athletic one athletic scholarships to Division I schools this fall. Our FFA had a successful year in creating opportunities for students to be immersed in the fields of agriculture. Though many of the events, events remained virtual, members, including 11 seniors, had the opportunity to engage in contests and conferences this year. Hadley Abbott, Kyle Kramlick, and Kate Ziegler served as senior leaders in our FFA, working to continue to offer students the opportunity to develop leadership and career-related skills as they prepare for their future. While all of our courses and extracurricular activities were impacted by virtual instruction over the last several years, there may be none more than that of our music program. The growth of both our instrumental and vo vocal music programs since returning to in-person instruction has been phenomenal, due in large part to the leadership, dedication, and commitment of our senior musicians. This year in vocal music, Sophie Gutierrez was selected to be part of the Maryland All-State Chorus, joining our other elite vocalists from around the state. In the two years leading up to the pandemic, the FSK marching band was reigning back-to-back -back regional champions. This year, our marching band came roaring back under the leadership of drum major Amanda Bruner and commanding officer Addie Ostendorf-Snell to win the MB MMBA 1A state championship. At the state championship, high accolades were given for color guard, visual performance, and our percussion section under the leadership of drumline section leader Mikey Mulliken, bass drum captain Zach Benner, and pit section Lou leader A.J. Kitzinger. Our drama program was also happy to return to in-person shows this year with our fall play, Peter Pan and Wendy, our winter one act, and our audience favorite spring musical, Shrek. We have 10 seniors who have been inducted into the International Thespian Society. Anna Sofia Gutierrez, A.J. Kitzinger, Terrence Warner, and Vincent Worley have earned honors thespian ranks through the International Thespian Society. We've had over 30 members of the class of 2022 involved in theater over the last four years. If there is any student here that has enlisted or plans to enlist in any branch of the US military, please stand to be recognized at this time. These young men and women These, these young men and women have chosen to serve their country upon graduation as members of our military. Would any members of our audience who have served or are presently serving in our armed forces please stand as we salute our future military leaders and present you with a round of applause as well. As I end, I just wanted to note that whether you have won awards, scholarships, recognition this week or not, has absolutely no bearing on your worth as a graduate. Making it to this stage today, <laughs> after these last few years, speaks volumes. I want you to succeed, to do your best, and go on to do great things. But I also want you to know that you are already great. I am overwhelmed by your resilience. It has been my honor and privilege to serve as your administrator. Thank you. And thank you, Ms. Zeb. Thank you for the many hours of dedication that you have given to these seniors. To the parents and guardians of our seniors, congratulations. You have done a great job you have taken care of your children, guided them, and most of all, you have loved them. Thank you for the time, attention, and many sacrifices that you have made over the years so that our graduates could have a great school experience, both inside and out of the classroom. It is primarily because of you that seniors have developed into fine young adults. At this time, I ask that all parents and guardians of our graduates please stand to be recognized.
Today, our graduates will become members of a large and distinguished family, the alumni of Francis Scott Key High School. This growing group of 63 years continues to reach excellence and continues to have an impact in our local community, state, and nation as proud alumni. This new group of graduates will be proud to be a part of the legacy of Francis Scott Key High School. I would like any person who is an alumnus of FSK to please stand and be recognized at this time. I now have the pleasure of introducing the Francis Scott Key Choir, who will present a selection under the direction of Mr. Tyler Workman. Strong and tall, longing 
Can you hear me? Thank you, Mr. Workman and the members of the choir. Now it is time for our student presentation. A tradition has been established that the student speaker for graduation will be the president of the graduating class. This year's president has provided consistent and positive leadership for her class, and she is greatly respected by her classmates and teachers. To address the senior class, it is my pleasure to introduce class president, Natalie Riley. Good morning, graduates. Roughly four years ago, we started our high school careers at Cornfield High, <clears throat> I mean FSK, <laughs> where the smell of cow manure greeted us at the door the constant no service notifications disconnected us from the outside world, and all the souped up trucks said goodbye every day with peeling wheels. These little things were an almost everyday occurrence, but I wouldn't change it for anything. While we all had different experiences these last four years, I truly believe FSK gave us the most memorable ones. I mean, hey, we started from the bottom, now we're here. At graduation, of course. <laughs> As the underdogs in school at that time, where we didn't know that our freshman year would be one of just two full school years, I believe it's both entertaining and valuable to look back at how much we've changed since then. I'm sure we can all relate to our many failures and valuable lessons we learned, like for example, how most of us learned to walk on the right side of the halls, and others learned that that cute senior didn't actually love them back. <laughs> Not only did we grow from our many failures, but we also grew from the academic challenges associated with COVID. These last two years have affected everyone differently, but we've overcome those obstacles, and now we're here waiting to walk across the stage. COVID doesn't define us, so peace by, won't mention it again. As for our senior year, this was the year most of us excelled. Even though a lot of us weren't in the building for the entire day, or at all for some of us, when I think of Key, I will forever remember my senior year. Never have I experienced such an amazing community who came together, like the confetti cannons at Friday night football games or storming the court after a three-point buzzer beater. And speaking of, I forgot to mention when Mr. Kimball decided to attempt the gritty at the end of their regional win. That was a sight to see, but you did have some pretty bomblicious dance moves, Mr. Kimball. <laughs> These past few years have created so many great memories for each of us. As I look around this room today, I'm not sure if I'll see all of you again. While I would love to say that this isn't a goodbye and it's a rather see you later, I can't promise that for each of you. So I wanna wish you all the best for your futures. I also want to thank our teachers, our peers, our friends, and especially our families for everything that they've done for us. The teachers, faculty, and staff at FSK are like no other, and they've done so much for each and every one of us. The simple good morning while passing a teacher in the hallway never fails to make us smile. Graduation would not be possible without them, and I hope they know how grateful and appreciative we are for them. As for my peers and everyone sitting in those not so comfy chairs, patiently waiting to walk across this stage, I just want to thank you for trusting me to lead our class. Even though some of you probably didn't care, it was such an honor to be your class president. I would also like to thank my family for their everlasting motivation and encouragement to be my best self. Lastly, I want to express my deepest sympathy as we recognize our loved ones who are looking down on us. Although we're missing you today, we are so thankful for the impact you had and continue to have on us. We know that you are so proud of us as I wipe these tears away, I have one last thing for you guys. Um, you guys remember the pep rally this year and how we lost the spirit stick? Uh, well, 
I did a thing because I was not happy about it, and this is me making it up to you. I stole it! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. Congratulations. Job well done. We are honored this morning to have a commencement speaker that has been chosen by the class as a person that they wanted to deliver their commencement address. This class has selected Mr. Ryan Kemble. <laughs> Mr. Kemble was an outstanding teacher when he was in the classroom and was recently appointed athletic director at Francis Scott Key High School. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kemble. Good morning. I just want to say that 48-year-olds are not supposed to hit the gritty, so you got what you got. <laughs> also, Natalie, I need that spirit stick back. We got to award it again next year, so. Good morning, FSK community. Hello, graduates, and congratulations. Today marks the beginning of a new journey. It's a time of great excitement, opportunity, and quite frankly, as I remember it, some anxiety about what comes next. Before I dive into my message for you, I want to take a moment to thank a few people. Parents and guardians, you did it. Congrats on helping your little bundles of joy navigate the tumultuous teenage years, and they will indeed be receiving a diploma from the state of Maryland today. To all of our feeder schools, the wonderful staff at Elmer Wolf, Runnymede, Tawnytown, and Northwest, thank you for passing along such a wonderful group to us at FSK. And to our staff, our entire staff, who helped make FSK a great place to work, thank you. Nobody cares more about their school and their community than you do. I'm honored to work with you. Graduates, you will have some big decisions ahead of you. In fact, did you know humans make roughly 35,000 remotely conscious decisions every day? This means that during your lifetime, you will make over a billion decisions. You are bound to get a few of them wrong, more like you're bound to get a few hundred thousand of them wrong. But any adult in this room will tell you that that is normal, and they'll tell you to make, they'll, <clears throat> excuse me, and they'll tell you that to make important decisions over the course of your life, you will need to find the courage to act. So let's talk about courage for a moment. To give you an understanding of my family's history with courage, both of my grandfathers served in World War II. My grandpa, Doc, served as a captain in the medical corps and was assigned to the 26th Division. He landed in Normandy after the D-Day invasion and he chased Nazis across France and Belgium and he earned a Bronze Star. My grandpa, Raj, entered the Army Infantry in 1943 and he chased Nazis through North Africa and Italy. He won accommodations for valor as well. My grandfathers fought for freedom. I knew courage was in my DNA, but when I was in high school, I had yet to find it. I want to say I'm sorry to Dr. Rayleigh. I didn't read too many of the books my English teachers assigned me in high school. One book, though, it spoke to me, The Red Badge of Courage. It's a story of a young man struggling to do the courageous thing, and that was something I could relate to. I spent a lot of time as a young man thinking about the courage of my grandfathers, wondering where my courage was. Just to give you a mental picture of the 15-year-old me, I was the shortest male student in my class. Red hair, freckles, large rim glasses that were not cool, braces, and I don't mean those cool braces with the different colored bands that the kids have today. I mean the old metal mouth braces that look like a steel frame of a building. Four years I had to wear those things. Okay, so clearly I had some obstacles to overcome. But surely at 15 years old, I had developed the courage to ask out that girl I had a crush on, her name was Liz, by the way, or to really go for it to impress my, impress my tough as nails basketball coach. Nope, I didn't do either of these things in high school. It took me a while to figure out that it takes courage to believe in yourself 
and to go for what you want in life. You have to have confidence in yourself, but you also have to make a plan for what you want in life and then pursue that plan with passion. You've got to go for it. You will hit obstacles and adversity every step of the way, but if you have the courage to believe in yourself, you will find success in the long run. For me, once I found that courage to truly believe in myself, which didn't happen until I was in my early 20s, I wound up leaving my first job to pursue a second career in education. This has brought me nothing but joy and happiness. And oh, I eventually found the courage to ask out that pretty girl from high school named Liz. In September, we will celebrate our 23rd wedding anniversary. Not bad for a shorter than average ginger with less than an average jump shot. My final advice on making courageous decisions is to have the courage to be kind. Just be kind to people. This seems really, really easy, but it's actually really, really difficult, especially now where people seem to be so divided on so many issues in our society. As a government and politics teacher, I've spent the last 17 years trying to stay on top of all the many issues in our society, where as a country we cannot seem to get along. It has honestly been exhausting and something I won't miss as I transition out of the classroom. How can we be kind to others in a time when we are so divided? Well, I take my lesson from my, my favorite TV show, Ted Lasso. When having difficult conversations, try to be curious and not judgmental. If we can all be kind first and curious second and ask questions of those we may disagree with, we might find some common ground and move forward. Or we could just agree to disagree. That's okay too. There'll be times when you are kind to others and they are unkind to you. In those times, find the courage to remain kind and in the long run, this kindness will be returned to you. This much I can promise you. Class of 2022, you are high school graduates. You are moving on to the next phase in life. More freedom, more responsibility, more decisions. Find the courage to believe in yourself and be kind to others, and success is sure to follow. Congratulations again. We at FSK are so very proud of the young adults you have become. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kimball. I know that the seniors are very appreciative that you were able to celebrate this special day with them. It is with extraordinary pride that I address the class of 2022. It has truly been a pleasure to get to know you the last three years. You have shown great leadership, tremendous school spirit, and so much support for one another. Over the last few days, many of you have received awards, scholarships, and recognition for your achievements in the classroom, on the playing field or court, on stage, and in our community. As a class, you have earned $3.1 million in scholarships. You started this journey in 2018. And as Natalie said, four years later, here we are. Soon, your name will be called and you can proudly walk across the stage knowing that you upheld the highest tradi traditions and values of Francis Scott Key High School. It has been quite a journey thus far and you have demonstrated your commitment by doing your very best to learn and grow. And it was your desire to set a path for your future and it is through your hard work that you have arrived at this, your first destination. Today, we honor and formally celebrate the major educational milestone that you have reached. And it is all of the excitement and anticipation that you're experiencing on this day that lets you know that your journey absolutely must continue. Today is not your final destination. I once read that even if you're on the right path, you will get run over if you just sit there. You all are on the right path. FSK 
has provided you with the necessary tools for success. You have all proven that you are far too capable to stop here. 65% of all of you have already made the decision to choose to continue your education at a two or four year school. 7% of you have decided to enter a trade school or begin a apprenticeship. 18% will enter the workforce and 4% will enter the military after graduation. Regardless of which of these paths you have chosen, your journey must continue. Congratulations to each member of the graduating class and their families. May you continue to experience remarkable success on your journey. I am so excited to see and learn what you will do next. And I'm extremely proud of each and every one of you. <laughs> Our next speaker is a CCPS graduate himself. He works tirelessly to support the efforts of our students and our school system, often working behind the scenes to develop policies and initiatives that allow our system and students to be successful. It is my pleasure to welcome our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Stephen Lockard, for some remarks and for the presentation of the class. Thank you, good morning. Congratulations, class of 2022. I wanna thank the student speaker, Mr. Kimball, Principal Mobley for their eloquent comments. And I promise to be brief because I recognize on the agenda, I'm between you and the awarding of diplomas. So we will get right to it. I'm gonna ask the Francis Scott Key High School class of 2022 to please stand. It's with great pleasure and pride that I officially present the graduating class of 2022 of Francis Scott Key High School for the awarding of diplomas. The members of the Board of Education of Carroll County, the principal of Francis Scott Key High School, Shannon Mobley, and I as superintendent certify that these graduates have successfully completed all the requirements for a Maryland high school diploma or certificate. Let's give them all a huge round of applause. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. Thank you, Dr. Lockard. At this time, I ask the senior class advisors, Ms. Sarah Jarbeau, Mr. William Duffy, and President Natalie Riley to join the senior class as we prepare to award the diplomas. Students and parents have been waiting for 13 years to hear their name called and to walk across the stage to receive their diploma. Each student deserves their time on the stage and for their name to be heard. Therefore, the seniors respectfully request the audience to hold their applause until all graduates have been recognized and then to respond in an appropriate and dignified manner. I ask for the parents and families of our graduates to stand to be recognized when your graduate is introduced. I will begin by calling the name of our class officers and valedictorian, then they will call the rest of the class. Thomas Benjamin Crashong. Harley Deanna Kalen. Hunter Marie Kalen. Natalie Marie Riley. Cheyenne Michelle Sheffield. 
Robert Frederick Wolf III. Kayla Marie Ziegenheim. Hadley Joan Abbott. Cruz Jose Morley Alejandres. Gabriela Carlotta Andalino. Louise Daniel Andres. Montana Leanne Angles. Evan Matthew Arnold. Nanaba Naira Aweli Kwe. Michael Rossio Baldwin. Sebastiana Jacomina Bavetta. Cameron Eugene Baxter. Zachary Easton Benner. Cody James Bennett. Elizabeth Mary Bertrand. Connor Randall Black. Evan Arthur Blizzard. Logan Daniel Bockelman. Eliana Grace Bowman. Brooke Nicole Boyer. Hannah Faith Boyer. Grace Evelyn Bradley. Michael Lee Brennan. Faith Nicole Brooks. Caleb David Brown. Molly McGuire Brown. Amanda Joe Bruner. Caden Elizabeth Burdett. Callie Ann Chuckarell. Mary Elizabeth Chimber. Lauren Elizabeth Cooper. Caitlin Chan Krieger. Ashton Kraus. Amber Autumn Curran. Riley Brennan Davis. Josie Renee Dell. Cameron Edward Dembski. Nicholas Christopher Deal. Carissa Renee Diggs. Destiny Rose Dinnerman. Maria Elizabeth Dixon. Jacob Thomas Drews. Aaron Mackenzie Ecker. Clayton David Edmonds. Lena Janelle Elliott. Courtney Paige Epperly. Lane Otto Fankhauser. Matthew Thomas Fogel Jr. 
Gage Michael Link Foster. Leah Marie Fuxa. Amanda Nicole Galster. Griffin Andrew Garvis. Elena Huber Guyman. Kimberly Ann Gilbert. Ryan Michael Gillis. Jillian May Gladden. Joel Charles Glansberg. David John Green. Amanda Lee Gubernatis. Anna Sofia Gutierrez. Lydia May Haynes. Sean Anthony Hardesty. Nova Lynn Shelby Lee Harding. Elijah Eugene Harris. Kaylin Liberty Harry. Summer Faith Hartlob. Jaden Amari Heiser. Leonardo Hernandez Perez. Ethan Pierce Hobbs. Nicholas Allen Hoflick. Kyle Anthony Holmes James. Madison Lynn Holt. John Russell Honecker. Kyle David Huff. Hannah Ibrahim Futa. Jacob Allen Engel. Colby Taylor Jackson. Roy Scott Jarbo. Elena Danielle Jennings. Hayden Cole Johns. Nadia James Johnson. Bethany Mariah Jones. Jordan Alexander Jones. Paige Lauren Jones. Corey Lee Ketzel. Georgia Mikowski Kaufman. Daniel Elijah Keplinger. Emma Claire Keys. Chloe Grace Kincaid. Jacob Lee Kingen. Zachary Milton Kinlock. Alyssa Jane Kitzinger. Ethan Lee Class. Matthew Ryan Knox. Kyle Joseph Kramlick. Nova Lee Grace Crate. 
Selena Marie Krug. Caroline Isabella Lamb. Keith Joseph Lapierre. Sarah Rose Leonarda. Ashley Ann Linville. Emily Morgan Litz. Evan Neil Longo. Sierra Lynn Mantooth. Stephen Joseph Marshak III. Kaylee Ann Marinelli. Kendall Nicholas Marks. Adrian Christine Marsh. Emma Ann Martin. Riley Elizabeth Martin. Joseph Michael Maslick Jr. Colby Jacob May. Ryan Ashton Maynard. Nathan James McConnerty. Liam Patrick McGrath. Tristan Lee McKenzie. Caitlin Elizabeth Miller. JC Lynn Miller. Logan Jacob Millstreet. Dylan Michael Moore. Michael St. Mulligan. Evelyn Diana Ortiz Banuelos. Morgan Cherie Osborne Watley. Addison Ruth Ossendorf Snell. Eric Wayne Oxenrider Jr. Tiana Kalise Parker Bay. To kind Calvin Paris. Zachary Charles Patterson. Carissa Hallie Pennington. Jasmine Mariah Pollock. Emmanuel Rodrigo Prieto. Alyssa Jean Prochaska. Lisa Marie Ramjit. Nikolai Warren Reams. Isabel Marie Redman. Taylor Bliley Reisinger. Callie Alana Ridgely. Madison Grace Rieger. Bradley Edward Rill Jr. Faith Ann Rill. Ryan Scott Rill Jr. Kieran Alexander Rissell. Naomi Ariana Rivera. Kayla Marie Robertson. Malachi Rodriguez. Joshua Michael Rouse. Jose Guadalupe Ruiz Rodriguez. Noel Ruiz Galaviz. Zachary Hayden Russell. 
Jaron Michael Rudder. Michael Allen Sagey. Douglas Christian Saunders Jr. Nathan Edward Saunders. Austin Brady Shem. Kayla Michelle Seiler. Caroline Kammer Sewell. Eric Mitchell Shoemate. Evan Rondell Smith. Kyle Wesley Snyder. Kendra Ann Spaulding. Jalen Don Stanball. Seth Wayne Stevens. Shane Yates Stevens. Haley Alexis Shrine. Ariana Cheyenne Swaby. Shyla Brianne Schweitzer. Rokoria <laughs> Wait. King Afe Taku. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cole Atwood Tate. <laughs> Zachary Paul Tavares. Paradise Valentine Taylor. Nicole Renee Thomas. Taylor Michelle Volk. Forrest Alexander Monmarco. Brian Lee Wagner Jr. Andrew James Walker. Andrew Vincent Walters. There we go. Parker David Wareheim. Terrence Contessa Warner. Ashlyn Marie Watkins. Logan James Weston. Gracie Ray Wisenhan. Aaron Victoria Wilds. Mackenzie Elizabeth Wilhide. Antonio Jason Williams. Kara Faith Wilson. Corinne Cheryl Wilson. Vincent May Worley. Katherine Morgan Ziegler. Kaden Kyoko Zeff. Bryce Wade Zepp. At the conclusion of my remarks, I ask that the audience please remain seated for the recessional and remain so until the final graduate is called. Following the presentation of the graduation packets, the graduates will be available to meet you in your designated area. Would the class of 2022 please rise? At
At this time, class president Natalie Riley will lead the class in the changing of the tassels, signifying your new status as graduates of Francis Scott Key High School. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of the class of 2022.